And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, how about this? We are starting off October and we had temperatures that felt more like summer with highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Not something that we typically see for this time of year when our average high is supposed to be 66 for today. And we've seen some 80s before in October, but with two days today, yesterday and today, will tomorrow be another one? Well, looking at the temperatures across the area for today and with the weather coming in from the west, you see a lot of these 70s. Well, that's the air that will be arriving here tomorrow. So we're going to cool down a little bit, about 10 degrees or so, but still remaining above average for this time of year. This morning, a little hazy, some light foggy skies. It was a bit moist in the air, and that's from this area of low pressure that's been pushing through and providing some of these puffy cumulus clouds and a few showers that have been popping up across the area. Not widespread. There's more widespread shower activity up towards north along a warm front, but there is an area of low pressure, very slow moving. It's going to be sticking around and we'll feel the impacts through about, I'd say Monday afternoon. We've got high pressure off towards the east, so it's not really allowing the storm complex to just scoop on through here, so it'll take a little bit of time. Closer look does show a few light rain showers and even a couple of rumbles of thunder along that warm front boundary. We're sort of in between the cold front and the warm front with some warm air advecting in from the south. So a few isolated showers still sticking around here. Haven't seen a whole lot of lightning, but some brief heavy downpours nonetheless where you're seeing some of the little dark red spots between Clintonville and Shawano and also between Oshkosh and, and Appleton. So over the next couple of hours, the activity will begin to diminish. We can't rule out an isolated rain shower overnight, but one of the main focuses as we transition into the overnight will be the potential for some dense fog, especially with the humidity and the moisture in the air mass temperatures cooling down to near 60. Uh, by tomorrow morning, some visibility is getting down to under a half mile. So if anyone's driving out early tomorrow morning, just a heads up. The fog does erode as you get closer towards the lunchtime hour around noon. But as you get into tomorrow, we'll have additional isolated rain showers and also perhaps a pop up thunderstorm in parts of the area. And this is important considering we are hosting the Steelers tomorrow for the Packers game. If anyone's going into the afternoon uh, football game, perhaps just a heads up could be dealing with a few isolated showers. Hopefully not a thunderstorm to move right over Lambeau. Then that cause a little bit of ruckus as you get into Monday morning, a few additional isolated showers possible. But then as you get into the afternoon, we really start to see that wind down. So high tomorrow getting up into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. The chance of an isolated shower or storm is possible but still running above about five degrees below above normal for this time of year. 76 outside with a light wind out of the south at three miles per hour. It is 68 in Pembine and 76 in Oshkosh, 67 in Manitowoc, 80 currently in Fond du Lac. Winds pretty light, calm and variable at the moment, moving in across all directions. As we cool off into tonight, about 61, we'll have calm winds. Watch out for some patchy dense fog, a few ice and rain showers possible. Getting up to 70 tomorrow with some showers and a rumble of thunder. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Getting into the upper 60s and lower 70s as we head into the next couple of days here. Lower 70s sticking around as we get into the next week and really not looking like early October whatsoever. The 70s coming back and rebounding here. I'm area. I'm like really shocked, frankly. You just wait. We're going to wake up one morning. It's going to be snowing from like 70 uh, to the next. I really hope this sticks around as long as possible. Jim. Thank you. Coming up